oh my god, how many explosions are there going to be in this movie? <laughs> and is he going to be able to control himself? Um, but it was amazing. I, I was just so excited. I think that my process was I read the script first without knowing that it was Michael Bay. My, my, my um, agent sent it to me. She's like, I'm not going to tell you who's going to direct it. Just read it. And I was like, that sounds like a trap. <laughs> and she's like, read it. And I was like, okay. So I read it. And I just fell in love with Cam immediately. I just felt like it felt like a real contemporary woman, a woman that I can relate to, a woman with dimension and, and capabilities, but also quite vulnerable and broken and going through a moment in life. And I just want to be embodying female characters like this more and more on screen. And it's rare to see characters like this on action films. So I was just really excited. And then they're like, it's going to be Michael Bay. And then I sat down and interviewed him. I was like, are you going to do her justice? And he was like, yes. And so <laughs> he's like, he's always telling me, you're like, you're you're so healthy. I'm like, I, I just really care, but I'm so grateful. And he's lovely. We get along so well. I just wish that they pay attention to what the paramedics and the first responders have been doing this entire two years. I'm so honored to be playing them. And it was just most, it was literally the most terrifying process of my life because I got it in the peak of the pandemic, the script, and I just was really nervous and, and really thought, who am I to be bringing this character to life? It should be someone that is capacitated for this. And um, and I just loved what a love letter it was to first responders, but also for female paramedics. And, and I felt like as a woman of color, being a Mexican woman, an immigrant, I, I just wanted to see more characters like this on screen being a woman like me that doesn't necessarily have to make a point of where she comes from or where she is and it just creates a norm and so I just hope that when people watch this think about the real-life superheroes these are the real-life superheroes the, the the heroes without capes and they have been sacrificing their entire lives in the last more than ever for for us